Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Lady Panad. In case you're new here, Karibu Sana. In case you're returning subscriber, welcome back. This is the channel whereby you get to learn different ways of farming and livestock keeping. I was touring an orchard and the person who is the owner of this orchard, in case you've watched the previous video, also practices beekeeping. So I want to know a little bit about the bees and some nice stories I hear about the bees. And I know you also want to know about the bees with me. So guys, I'm going to interact with my farmer who is going to take me through the beekeeping and what is required in beekeeping and so many stuff. It's quite an interesting video. So guys, sit down and relax. Start commenting, start liking the video and remember to subscribe to my channel for this and much more sweet content. So let me talk to my farmer so that he can take me through. Karibu sana to my channel. Thank you. I know my viewers cannot see you well because you already dressed up with the suit. Uh -huh. And I should not shout because the beast will sting me. Okay. <laughs> so tell them your name. Okay, thank you. This is the same David Maniri, who was also doing uh, the other part of the orchard. Now it happens here, I have also an, uh, an apiary. This is the big thing. Yeah. So, I'm dressed for the occasion. This is how we normally dress when we are getting the bees. Uh -huh. This is the bee suit. So, explain to me what are these you are holding and what are they used for? Okay, together with me here, I have this, this is called a smoker. Yeah, it looks so, like it. it smokes smoke. Yeah, it smokes, yeah. So you normally put fire inside here. This is the modern one now. This is the modern one. You put the, you can see inside there. You put some few charcoals there with fire. Then you get the, the sawdust or the, the maranda, the so-called. So, then you normally press it press it here mm. have that sound mm. so by so doing you you are smoking so the smoke will come out of here mm. this is the hunger mm. yeah you but now there are no smoke yes. there are no smoke there's no fire inside because we are not harvesting honey we are not harvesting honey mm -hmm. but when you're doing so you normally put some charcoals inside it there mm. and there is a hole inside also mm. this is a starch there is a hole that is coming from this uh, part that you are pressing towards where the fire is. Yeah, you can see. Then you have this touch. To secure the chunk of the fire. Mm -hmm. so Interesting. Now when you put it inside, mm -hmm. then you cover it, you, you fill with the maranda or mm -hmm. the, the sawdust mm -hmm. or any other material. Mm -hmm. Then you, you stop pressing it here until the smoke comes out of, of this uh, opening. Okay. So the bee. Hey, today is a very interesting day for us who love honey and we don't know how it is made. Yeah. So guys, if you love honey like me, this is the day you learn where it comes from. Yeah. So what do we require for the bees? When you are a beekeeper, what are the basics that you should have? So the basics uh, of keeping bees, you should have uh, uh, a beehive that's the requirement number one uh -huh. you, can, you can see here these are the modern beehives yes to start with we have uh, these ones these are the lungs probe uh -huh. that normally have uh, the two the, the two parts we have the first chamber and the second chamber and then we have the reed so if i can happen to open the one without the bees. Okay. Because I don't want to face the other side because these ones, they seem to have bees already. Yes, I can see the bees moving. You can see them. Come close. See the bees moving there. Bees, these are already colonized. This part is already colonized. So, quiet tree or silent tree, you can try because bees are like noise. Yes. So it's here. I assure you, it's only a new will be left here because we are very good. I'm well dressed for the occasion. So you might you might you might leave me here talking to myself. So can you maintain silence? Yes guys, I have to be quiet. 
the two parts of the, the two chambers so I have the knee here, this one this called the super box this is the super box this is, where, this is what we normally harvest the other one is the brooder the other one is the brooder we don't harvest these parts we have this this, uh, this this part here is called queen excluder so I can, I can you can see we have the opening here right away here so the bees will come through this direction and then after you have put this queen excluder it means the queen will remain here for the rest of this like you have to bring up to the super box because queen is it's too big to go through this opening mm. but these other bees like the, we have the worker bees will be able to maneuver mm. and come to the super box mm. where after now they have filled this part they will leave it to the queen to lay eggs which will be replenishing mm. the, the colony from time to time I can I will explain later. Uh. B of the lifespan. A B will go for only two months, that's six days. Uh. So that the queen can stay there for more than for more than three years. Guys, so, in case you didn't know the B so so as a queen. So queen. Queen B. Yeah, so queen. So where uh, does the ex- queen stay? Queen stays as a this brooder. Uh. Yeah, the row of compartment. Okay. Laying eggs. Yes, the queen now the jobs of the queen is to lay eggs. It's only to lay eggs for the rest of her life. But the worker bees will build up the combs. I haven't shown you even the these frames. You can see here, these are the modern frames that are normally harvested using the centrifuge machine machine. Hmm. Uh, that is the unextractor. Okay. So uh, I have one. Mm. Uh, that's why I have kept these uh, these uh, boxes. I like, uh, you can see these has been uh, this newly this a new structure. Mm. Uh, it's about uh, it's been almost three months, but I normally introduce. Uh, these hives slowly but gradually because uh, I did this because of the orchards so that uh, I can get the pollinators. These mm. are best in pollinating. Mm. So, beside the pollinating, at the end of the day, I also have honey. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So, you keeping the bees was not just for the bees, it was for the sake of pollinating your trees, your, your orchard. Yeah. But also the orchard is giving the honey some sweetness. You know, there is a difference between the honey that comes from the orchard and the ones that the the bees have to go and look. Anyhow, I think the uh, honey is sweeter. Yeah, like this one is. Uh, it has a lot of. Uh, it is mixed mm. honey uh, from different fruits, fruits and uh, from different varieties. Okay. Yeah. Where do you get these beehives from? Okay, these beehives, we normally buy them. Yeah, those people who normally Tengeneza, uh, you know, Tengeneza I see beehives. So, uh, initially I bought two. Uh, one being this one, this beehive that you can, you can see. It's a little bit different from uh, these others. That one. And it is already colonized. That would be high. Yeah, that one. For the sake of the viewers who don't understand, what do you mean by colonized? Oh, what I mean by colonized? Yes. These are the hives that are already bees. Okay. With them. So, the hive. Uh, Just uh, the body is weak, uh, has uh, three compartments. Below here, 
we have this we have this compartment here let me open it for you to see so it has these very tiny holes i'll explain why so uh, this is now where we collect the propolis and it is normally fixed here so before we open this door this the, the hive is colonized then while well, this one is still fixed in position let me try to fix it let me try to fix it in position now when it is fixed here uh, now the piece now are inside you close this door and open the other one this one now so let this one open that way so what it means now the worker bees will, will be coming through here through these parts then they will be coming up through this uh, uh, wire mesh and then they are going to be bruised all the pollen the pollen will be bruised and then it will now settle at the bottom box so it is this mesh here is so tiny in such a way that the bee can go not go inside to lick the the, the pollen and the propolis. So it will remain there for you to come and harvest. And I've said a kg goes for about three thousand. So it's another product that you can get for uh, this kind of uh, when you are keeping bees. So we run my frames. So then, you can also, now this is the, the brooder, this is the brooder now where the queen is, and you can see it's well done, this part, this is the compost starter, so that when the bees come, they will continue with the, with the comb. So after I was explaining, I got these uh, hives eh? and my intention was to get these hives so that I can be able to make mine out of this. So all these others that you are seeing here, they are made in my own farm to minimize the cost because the hives are very expensive. So you make them yourself? So I make them myself. I came to and got my, my hobby. Do you sell to other people who are interested? Yeah, if you're interested, I, I can sell them to you. How much per one beehive? Uh, a, a hive. Uh. Then let me first of all explain how much I bought, uh. so that I can be able to explain how much I normally sell. Uh -huh. So this hive, like I, you can see, see these these are giant hives. Yes. They are not the kawaida ones. Uh. Kawaida ones. Yeah. Have, uh, here yeah, the brooder, yeah, these they are, are called they the modern they have, top bar. They have a, a spacing, they, this distance is eight, uh, 8 inches, but this one is 10. This is a big one, and this one, in the other one, is five, six inches. This, one is, this one is 8. So this is a big one. When you come to counting these frames, eh, these are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This one has 10 frames, the other one has 8. So this one will give you uh, many kgs of honey than the kawaida one. So this one I bought at uh, 12,000, being two boxes, and this one. But the other one, without these, goes for 10,000. But me here, I can sell it to you. Uh, if you can uh, agree on prices, if you are buying many, I can sell even at 8,000. Yeah. So guys, you've heard that. If you need the beehives, you can contact David and purchase yours at an affordable price. Yes. So David, uh, I've had so many stories of bees growing up. And I want you to also tell my viewers, because I know if you are a beekeeper, you know some of these stories about bees. Uh, for example, now you've come, you've put your beehives here. How will the bees identify the hives? Okay, one thing, uh, you can see the hives are painted here. Uh -huh. That's a color that's a piece. 
Thank you, Didi. You know I have the corridors where this normally pass through. Mm -hmm. Like where I've cited in my earlier, that's the fact uh, those are the considerations that you need to be using. How did you know it's a big corridor? If you want to stay here, when it is uh, the month of January, February, yeah, uh -huh. you can see the coronary, the swans, passing uh through -huh. here. So I have done it, I have monitored it, uh -huh. and uh, I came to realize this is where uh -huh. it's like a pathway of the bees. Okay. Okay. So, so if you want to keep bees, it is something that you have to really do your research and, and focus. Exactly. Because by the time I study where the, they pass through, I will have taken so long. And then, if they, cannot, if they are not passing through your, where your shamba is, mm. that should not limit you. Okay. What you normally do, there is a hive we call bee catcher. Mm -hmm. you, when you start bee catcher, you catch the bees wherever they are. Uh -huh. So you go and mount it to where the corridor is. Uh -huh. After now, that bee catcher has been colonized. You come up, you come, you come with it, and then the frames, the bee catcher has normally about four, four to five frames. Uh -huh. So they are of the same size and the same length with the ones that are in there, in the, in the, in the ordinary beehive. Uh -huh. So you normally take out with your suit like I am, you normally pick the, the frames and you put them into the ordinary hive mm. and then you replace them with the ones without for for the catcher to go out there, catch more bees if you have some other empty hives. Okay. Another thing you can do mm. you can go along the fence. So I'm yet to do that, and the damage uh, came to realize even when they are here, they are still, colon they are still being colonized. You can, you can see here, it's as if they are colonizing in a system because this site is almost uh, fully colonized. And the other one, they have introduced, they have started with one far head there. So I think they are also colonizing this. And also have some more to fill these uh, black spaces. I've put them. They even come when they are uh, when they are still in the stock. And when they happen to be colonized, they normally come, carry them and they bring them here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. There is also another interesting story about the queen. Yeah. What what is this story that I hear about them killing the queen? At what time do they decide to kill the queen? Okay, what what normally happens? Uh, first of all, the bees, uh, the queen, is meat. It's like a normal bee. It's a normal bee. It's a normal bee. Through the food that is normally, normally pigs. Oh. By the name of uh, Jerry. Uh, call it uh, Royal Jerry. Uh -huh. So a queen is a normal bee, uh -huh. but when it defines the royal jerry, it turns to be a queen. It's a very funny story. It is the, the other bees that bring that food. It's the normal bee. What happens? Yeah, yeah these are the worker bees. <laughs> the worker bees are the ones that prepare special food for the, for the, for queen. the queen. Hey guys, this bee so, story is very interesting. So what normally happens, yeah. if it happens to be <laughs> or if by any by any by 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 any mystic mm. if the queen dies mm. one of the bees the one of the the, 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 the worker bees is appointed to be a queen. Hey. Is fed the rosary and then start laying the eggs. <laughs> and when the when laying when when she start laying the eggs mm. Which is a, a, a normal way yeah. because the worker bees don't lay eggs. Mm -hmm. But in a normal way, a mm. normal stages, mm. they, they, they lay eggs. Mm. So if it happens to lay eggs, mm. it will lay eggs, and a certain egg will be special, mm. and it will be in a certain, it will be in a special cell in the cup. Mm. So that it will be nurtured mm. to be a queen. That one will be raised mm. to be a queen. And wow. this one, it's normal. It normally takes about 
uh, 14 to 18 weeks mm. uh, 14 to 18 days mm. and then uh, the queen is ready to go wow and at the 18 mm. the king the queen will fly will take a, a special fly uh, where are the where she normally goes very far where there is a the, the canopy of the trees and she is meted there and what happens she is meted once in a lifetime mm. So with a special pocket, mm. the name is Pamadaka, mm. where she will survive for the rest of her life with those special sperms which will be normally mm. raising the colony mm. for the rest of her life, mm. which is normally between three years to six years. Wow. Yeah. Guys, there are so there are so many interesting stories about the bees. They are so endless. I can't mention them all, but to mention a few, that is the stories that we've told you. So, David, yeah. uh, what the, how is the market of honey? Because when you get to the supermarket, the shelves, the honey there, people say it is counterfeit. It's not like the quality one from the beehives. How is this market of honey? What happens, you are not meet the demand of honey. Uh, there's very high demand. That's why people are going even to an extent of even doing the counterfeit honey mm. because the demand is so high. So if it happens, people if people can come and see the project itself and see where honey comes, people are looking for quality honey. So if you have quality honey, you can send good money. People are ready to pay any amount as long as you have quality honey because what they are getting there mm. is just counterfeit. Mm -hmm. Yes. Like how much do you sell one kg of for example, do you sell it when it is sieved or when it is not sieved? Okay, you want if you want now people to know whether you are selling uh, the original honey. Hmm. We have the honey by the name capped honey. Capped meaning I can I can show you here. Uh, I have a comb with me. From uh, this from uh, these frames. Without those wires that I uh, was showing you, uh, a modern honey has. Mm. So this is normally harvested in normally. So when the, what I was explaining is the capped honey. Capped honey means after now the honey has been filled here. The bees what normally do, they cap it, they cover it, so it cannot pour. So if, if you can be able to to pack using those uh, disposable dishes mm. you can sell it when it is capped mm. this is the original honey oh. and then mm. you can go to an extent of doing what adding value by by doing what saving it by saving it so you refine it you remove it from the cups mm. you uncap the these cups using the modern technology that i was telling you about mm. the centrifuge machine mm -hmm. Then you remove it, the, the, the liquid form, then you pack it that you pack it. Yeah. Okay. So how much do you sell per kg? Uh, a kg goes for a thousand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When it is uh, refined. Mm. Yes. But that is pure premium honey. Yeah. The best but quality. The, the best quality. Fresh from the farm. Exactly. Okay. So that's it about the bees, nothing else. Yeah. Okay, so that has been it, guys, for today. I've really enjoyed this video, and I hope you have also enjoyed this video like me. Uh, so, thank you so much, David, for giving me your time. I've enjoyed and I've learned so much about the bees. We've told the viewers some sweet stories about the bees that they didn't know. Those who are born from the city and they have never studied agriculture in school, they don't know about these stories. So, take your time and do the research. They are quite interesting stories about the bees. So that's it for today. Uh, don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So guys, see you in the next video. Bye.